Welcome to Xamarin Form Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to implement ResearPay Payment Gateway inside our Xamarin Form project. To implement the ResearPay Payment Gateway to Xamarin Form project, we have to create an account from ResearPay. So, first of all, we need to create an account from the ResearPay.com. So you can also create this account from the reservepay.com just sign up here and after sign up it will ask for some information after filling the information it will create the reservepay account and it's pretty simple okay so after successfully log into the reservepay account you can notice that inside the reservepay payment gateway page the da inside the dash dashboard you can see at the top of the page you can see there are there are two modes the first one is test mode and the live mode the test mode is for the development environment when we are developing our application and when we are impl implementing our razor pay payment gateway to xamarin form at that point of the time we will only use the testing mode after successfully implementing the ResearPay payment gateway, we will convert it to the live mode. So when we select, when we are developing our ResearPay implementation, at that point we select only test mode and after selecting the test mode, we need to create the credential for that. So go to the settings and after going to the settings, go to the API keys tab and you have to create the api key so we already created a new api key so uh, i am going to regenerate the test key here and uh, my previous key will be revoked and uh, we click on ok and after that this is the key id and this is the key secret so i am going to download this key details here and it will automatically download as a csv file so we need this key id and key secret inside our xamarin form project for implementing the razor pay payment gateway okay so this is the step one now going to the step two so razor pay provides the android sdk for native android so we can use this native sdk to our java project we cannot directly use to our xamarin android project so to use this sdk inside our xamarin project we have to create a xamarin android binding so after creating the xamarin android binding we can use that particular sdk to our xamarin project so how to create the xamarin android binding we will see it in our next video lessons okay so we already created a xamarin android binding for razor pay so we need to add it to our android project so go to our xamarin android project and right click on the reference and click on add reference okay and click on browse and you have to add the razor pay binding dll to our android project so here is my dll and i will provide this dll you can find it to the description of this video and after adding this dll to the android project we can use the xamarin razor pay binding here so after clicking on ok it will automatically add it to our android project and you can notice that here is the razor pay binding for xamarin so using this android xamarin binding we can use the razor pay sdk to our xamarin android project so this is the step number two now going to the step number three go to the main activity and after going to the main activity we will write the razor pay payment gateway implementation here so for using the razor pay payment gateway we have to use the razor pay interface here and after inheriting the razor pay interface we can use the razor pay override methods here so that we can use the razor pay payment payloads here and we can go to the checkout for that okay so now i am going to inheriting the razor pay interface here okay so here is the i payment result with data listener this is the interface provided by razor pay 
SDK. So after adding the razor pay, com dot razor pay namespace, it will automatically add it to this namespace here, and we need to implement the interface here. So click on this interface and control dot and implement interface so after implementing the interface it will automatically create a two method here the first one is on payment error and the second one is on payment success so basically these two methods are for the payment result when the payment will be successfully completed then it will automatically call the on payment success if the buyer cancel the payment and if the buyer cancel and if any cancellation founds it will automatically return and it will automatically call the on payment error void method and we can get the particular data for that here is the payment data and here is the payment data okay so going to the next part so here is the razor pay payment gateway sdk integration page and here is the here the razor pay provides the pro, full process of how to integrate the razor pay payment gateway to our application so first of all we are starting from here install the razor pay android standard sdk we don't need it because we are using the xamarin android library so we don't need this two process now we can start from this process the third number process create an order in your server that means when we need to purchase a some things we need to create a order from razor pay so we have to pass some information like amount currency receipt and the payment capture so basically the amount is for the payment amount and is this is the integer field so if you have to uh, if you uh, select uh, 10 10 rupees then uh, you have to type 1000 that means that the razor pay only accept the integer value that means it will it will not accept the decimal value okay so we need to pass the amount as an integer okay so here is the currency we need to pass the currency code here and the next one is received and we need to create a random gen random receipt and we pass them pass this receipt number here and the payment capture by default is one so we have to implement this to our project so how to implement this so basically first of all we need to implement and we need to check out from our postman and let's see what the result will come then after successfully generating the order id we can implement this code directly to our Xamarin Android project okay so here I am using this curl command and using this curl command go to the postman and import it and using raw text and I am pasting the curl command here and click on continue it will automatically prepare our razor pay order request okay so first of all we need to create an order id from the razorpay.com so after creating this order id we can proceed to the checkout step so this is the post request and this is the url for creating the order id api.razorpay.com version 1 slash orders okay so now we need to pass something here we need to go to the authorize authorization tab and select the basic authentication and we need to pass the username and the password so how to get this username and password so we already created our secret key here so so this is our secret key which one we already generate we already generate it from the razor pay account and uh, we will use this user key and the user secret as a username and the, as a password so just copy this key id and this key id is a username this key id is a username so paste it to the username here and for password this is a key secret so here is the password so basically reserve using the 
basic authentication and the basic authentication needs the username and the password okay so after adding this username and the password go to the header header page and it will automatically you can notice that it will add automatically authorization attribute as a basic and space and it will generate a base 64 string from username and a password okay so that's it it will automatically do the and uh, postman automatically do this for us but we need to convert it from programmatically from our xamarin android project now we need to pass the few p payloads so go to the body tab and click on the raw and you you will automatically see that uh, you we are using this curled command here and automatically the postman automatically added this property and value here so we need to pass this data here so we are using simple 20 rupees that means uh, the razor pay only takes the integer value that means if we want to create an order of 20 rupees then we have to pass 20 extra so we are passing 2000 that means it will aut automatically take the 20 rupees okay so uh, our currency is inr if you use the usd then you can also usd okay so uh, here i am using the currency as the inr and the receipt id we are passing a simple receipt id okay and this is our receipt id we will create it to our android project programmatically but for the testing purpose we are passing a random receipt id and the payment capture value is by default one now we are going to send this data and let's see what response razor pay provides and you can notice that the razor pay provides a response of the order id entity is order amount is 20 rupees and the amount paid is zero and amount due is to 20 rupees and currency is inr and this is our receipt receipt id and this is the time span okay so the after creating the order id it will razor pay automatically returns the few parameters we only need this order id for capturing the payment from the user so how to implement it to our xamarin project so basically this is this is our sample we successfully get the response from the razor pay so we need to generate the the code from here